I'm hanging out here at the Houston Academy for International Studies, also known as HICE. I've been in here with Miss Neal and she's doing some really neat things with world history. Let's take a look. So we're in Miss Emily Neal's class today. It's a world history class. Students are working in groups on autopsies. So they've drawn outlines of each other on big pieces of paper and they're using their laptops to research information on the different empires um, given what they were assigned. So they're using a mix of print text, they've got books, they've got online materials, they've got tons of resources in the hub. The teacher, Miss Neal, actually placed the whole assignment in the hub so they're referring to the rubrics and the criteria online as they work. Okay, so he's going to draw it. Um, me and Hyro are going to research the, the Gupta Empire. The student is showing leadership skills as he reminds his team who's in charge of which portion of the project and they're realigning so that they work smarter. This is a great opportunity for them to work together collaboratively. They're differentiating their learning by assigning different tasks to different members of their team. They also get a chance to choose what resources they want to use online. So I see some students using Google Docs, some using OneNote. I've got some looking up images online, and then others using our district-provided resources through the hub. What are you doing down here on the floor? I'm making a Google Doc so we can share information. Oh, really? Who are you sharing this information with? My group mates. Can you tell us a little bit about what this project is today? Okay, well we're studying empire, specifically the Persian Empire, and we're supposed to basically do an autopsy and study how the empire rose and fell. Fantastic. Okay, keep going. So today we're going to be doing our presentations on our empire autopsies. Our classical empire is Rome, and some of the prominent leaders were Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar, Gaius Marius, the great man of the army, and Nero the madman of Rome. So Rome didn't have a specific world religion, but they did believe in a set of gods and goddesses that were supposed to teach specific lessons to the, and to, they were supposed to model, they were supposed to model illicit behavior also. Did you know you were going to be caught in the act today? I did not. I had absolutely no idea. It was quite a surprise to see you guys come in today. Can you tell us a little bit about why you set up your class this way today and why you think that's the best way to teach empires? Yes, of course. And so I do give them a quick lectures where we do a little bit of foundational building um, so they have background information. But for them, the key concept here is building a global learner and also someone that can take leadership and ownership of their own work and their responsibility. And so it's not teaching them skills just for high school, but for the real world also and so I believe it's very important for them to be able to work in teams and also take on the learning themselves. Great well thanks so much for letting us come and see your class today. No it's problem. a good day Thank at you. HICE.